might want to get down lower so that you can see the depth that you're soaring at. It also helps you to keep things level. Last few strokes, make sure your saw doesn't wiggle up and down too much. That way you want to get down to the full depth in the middle without going too far at the edges. So you're really sitting it in the groove and just pushing it forwards and backwards. And for a couple of grooves that go down just to the right depth. I'm not going to recommend that you use a chisel at all at home. If your uh, parents have one and they want to use it or they want to supervise you, that's up to them. I'd be using the panel saw just to make a few extra cuts down the middle. So if you get those down to the right depth, then it should uh, chip out quite easily. Using your mum's cutlery, don't push too hard. You don't want to bend anything. file lying around, flat file, fantastic. If not, you can um, wrap some sandpaper around a stick. And there you have your very own file. Yeah. This isn't quite wide enough. So I have to file sideways a little. To do that, hold the front and the back of the file so that it doesn't wiggle too much. And then you're just pushing forwards and backwards while pushing sideways. Yeah, better to do that, have a nice tight joint rather than have it too loose. that there like so plywood's going to be uh, too thin for that sort of housing joint so let's try something get else get nice and close to the uh, line so that you don't have too much sanding to do the last few strokes you can reach over and hold the other side so that it doesn't uh, rip off <laughs> Again, with these chipped fibers at the edge, uh, just lay it down and stand with a little bit of a drag, clean that up, get rid of those splinters around the edge because you don't want any of those stuck in your finger. I want to give this an interlocking joint. I can take another piece and just hold it over, get a sense of how far up to bring it so that it sits nicely. And I can make a mark there and then on the underside, make a mark on the other piece on both sides. me an idea of where I want to cut. Now, if I want this to match onto this, then I'm going to go roughly halfway across there, and I'm going to go roughly halfway across there, so very lightly in pencil, so that I've got the right idea, and then I can measure it more carefully. Line that up. Just very carefully put the material on that you're using.
Okay, there are my two lines. And then I measure halfway. So this particular piece is 115 mil wide. So I want to come in half of that. Half of 100 is 50. Half of 15 is 7.5. So go a little further and say 58. rotated but um, once you've got that far you might want to saw across there so that you can get into that area if you go right down that second line first then you're gonna have a long sort of tonguey bit that's some um, very uh, brittle so go across instead you've got that you know, this way you can uh, meet and uh, break it off bit by bit it zigzagging your way down the groove aiming for the bottom corner to the other corner now little bumpy bits like that you just need to correct for them you need to just keep coming back until until you smooth out that bump Now you just got to cut out that little V. Okay. Then we can finish off with a file. file. You've got both of those. Sorry. And oh, yeah. you can um. fit them together. There we go. Done.